Hello and welcome back to some more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! We're in the Asada Inn area. Um, I sold a bunch of old equipment, bought Tifa a new weapon as well, gave a few extra materia to my dudes, nothing really important. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. There is one thing really important. Uh, I gave Cloud fire element on his weapon. Uh, which might actually be fairly relevant coming up. But other than that, nothing all that important. Now, let's go in here. Ooh, it's a secret laboratory. And a bed. Wait, I feel like I should stay at the inn before I come down here. Hmm. It's a robot bed or something. Okay, I can go over here, but there doesn't seem to be anything. So anyway, can I like, uh, oh. Play the video. The original crisis. Interesting. Camera's ready! Then, if I'll not, please tell us about the set. the Setra. Two thousand years ago, our ancestors had heard the cries of the planet. The first ones to discover the planet's wound were the Setra at the. at the Knoll's Pole? What? Tell us, Ifalna. Where is the land called the Knoll's Pole? Interesting. can't explain it very well, but it's like having a conversation with the planet. It said something fell from the sky to make a large wound. Thousands of Cetra pulled together, trying to heal the planet. But due to the severity of the wound, it was only able to heal itself over many years. Hmm. Okay. The Setra tried desperately to cultivate the land so as not to diminish the needed e energy. Hmm. So even here, so close to the North Cave, the snow never melts. Is that because the planet's energy is gathered to heal it? So, you heard it! Oh. Winter is caused by the planet saving its energy, and not, you know, the sun thing. You heard it here, folks, first. It! It looked like our dead mothers and our dead brothers, showing us specters of the past. That's when the one who injured the planet, the crisis from the sky, came. It first approached them as a friend. It deceived them. But eventually it gave them the virus. The center were attacked by the virus and went mad, transforming into monsters. Then it approached the other Setra clans. It infected them as well. So the monster from the sky, the crest from the sky, we know is Genova. If it infected people, Genova. If it infected people, 
and turn them into monsters. That's sort of like what went on in the reactor at Nibelheim. So, in other words, the origin of many, if not all, monsters is basically Genova. That's fairly disconcerting. Can you comment on the thing called Weep On? Well, when you have a weapon and you love it very much, the, the one the professor mistook for etc. was named Genova. It is the crisis from the sky. Maybe we didn't know that before now, so sorry for spoiling that like a minute ahead of time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we already knew that. It was at least strongly hinted before now. Uh, the planet knew it had to destroy the crisis from the sky. You see, as long as Genova exists, the planet will never be able to fully heal. The Weepon was a Weepon the planet produced of its own will. Yes, but there was no record of Weepon ever being used. A small number of the surviving Cetra defeated Genova and confined it. The planet produced Weepon, but it was no longer necessary by the time it was done. It can't just go away. It sleeps deep inside the planet. Even though Genova is confined, it could come back to life at some time. The planet has not yet fully healed itself. It's keeping watch for Genova. Hmm. Thank you, Athana. That'll be all for today. Confidential. Daughter's record, 10th day after birth. What are you doing, prof- I mean, <laughs> that is so awkward. What are you going to tape? Is there still something I haven't mentioned? No, that's not it. I'm going to record my beautiful daughter. Da. I've already decided. If it's a girl, then it'll be Aerith. That's great. <laughs> oh. That's adorable. Although, I think it's, it's pretty obvious to know what her gender is ten days after she's been born. Uh, any, anyway. <laughs> Video a game? You just got through taping. Please don't say that. It's our lovely daughter, both yours and mine. Do you want to capture her childhood on videotape? If you keep doting on her like that, she won't grow up to be strong. Ah, uh... oh, that's sweet. Huh? Oh yeah. No, I don't blame you for being upset. She is just sort of having fun with it. What? Oh, it's Shinra. And... Is that Hojo? It's hard to tell without his hair, but... Okay, so porn stash is Professor Gast. And yep, that is Hojo. Hojo, you are literally the worst. At least in Final Fantasy VII. Like, 
There is literally no one worse than freaking Hojo. I just there there are no words. What? Okay, so you need to think. Aerith was at least a couple years old by the time her uh her by the time she was adopted. So and this occurred like a couple weeks after she was born. So if Alpha If Alpha? If Al Whatever. Her mother must have been on the runs literally for years with with Aerith in tow before she finally got, you know, dead. Um It really seems sad though that she didn't get to grow up with her parents because they clearly cared a great deal about her. Although the mom she ended up with was pr pretty good as well, but it just seems quite sad. Uh, okay, well, that's price inflation, but we're in the middle of freaking nowhere, so, you know, despite costing literally twice as much as other inns, it is still honestly, like, it's a situation where you could probably get away with that. I mean, you're basically a ski lodge, so some markup is to be expected. Give him across his little soul. He's not wearing a freaking shirt in a freaking snow field. Wow. Okay. Um, not even gonna try that. Uh, but it's so warm. I found that far funnier than I should have. What were the Cedra? Oh yeah, they're same as the ancients, right? I suppose if I'll not. Abducted by Shinra. It's fishy indeed. Is this Johnny? I guess not. No, Johnny eventually stopped following us, I suppose. That's the plan! Oh, I already have one. And I definitely didn't steal it. He gave me permission to end everything. <laughs> Technically true! Uh, what? What is happening? Oh, okay. Yeah, that that was totally bugging out. I heard there's a snow woman in the Great Glacier who hates hot springs. Hint, hint. Yeah, that was really weird. Oh, hey, they have another fireplace down there. Anything up here? Nothing! Wait, no, there was actually an explosion. Awesome. Okay. Now, what is there left? I mean, I suppose... Hello. No, don't! There's a steep grade past here. It's dangerous. Don't go. It's dangerous to go alone. Uh, thanks, but I'm still going. That is definitely Elena. The dog does not like Elena. This much is quite clear. Yo. I mean, you can try to stop me. <laughs> I 
I didn't do a damn thing to Sun. He knows it, and I'm certain he told you. Don't think you can fool me! Seriously, though, Sung definitely knows that it wasn't me who fucked him up. Um... Indeed. I think you can't actually let her hit you, but I mean, why would you? Oh, I guess I can't leave? I mean, I don't need to do this, but... Listen, I probably shouldn't tell you, but I hear there's something big going down up north. The president's gonna be there, so would you please just lay low for a while? Ah, fine. Uh, wait a second, I need to check something. Be, be right back. Okay, back. This is a little bit annoying because I actually sort of want to save, but, you know, whatever. It's not the end of the world. So... So, so you're not using it, right? Oh, yes. We got a snowboard! And we are gonna shred with it like you wouldn't believe! Oh, hey, there's a guy on the roof. Can I go on the roof? Hmm. If so, then I'm not sure how. Whatever. We're going. Uh, okay. I had to check my directions. Oh, I will not be careful. Snowboarding mini game. We can play this in the Gold Saucer as well. Uh, now, that is. I probably won't, but we can. I'm pretty sure you... Okay, that's break. Uh, I already did the jump. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do a hard turn. I am trying to recall what it is. Oh yeah, no, that's it. I figured it out. Triggers are for the sharp turns. At least, okay, my triggers are. That actually may not necessarily map in a sensible manner for anyone else playing. So, wait, no. Is it just the one trigger? Look, I'm really not sure. Uh, also, obviously, I'm really bad at this. So... You know. You know. Uh, why are you even doing that? Kubos! No. Okay, I... No, I know I'm bad at this, but I'm... Evidently, I'm worse than I thought I was. Uh, in any case, I just want to make sure I take the correct turns. As there are several. In this particular case, though... And they actually go to different areas. Like, both different tracks, but also different, uh, well, you'll see. Suffice it to say, there's a good reason why I care about taking the correct turns. Also, like, seriously, I cannot overstate this. I am way terrible at this game. I wonder if I can... Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, hit the, hit the track wall. I don't not even sure what the balloons do. Like they're probably bonus time, but actually they might they may actually be items. I don't think they're items, but it is a legitimate possibility. Okay, uh trees. That clipping distance. <laughs> we knocked down a tree. Then we got back up again. Okay, so, uh, oh, there goes another one, and a third one! Snow chickens! Okay, yeah, that one went flying, and it took out the balloon. 
I am s Wow, I am so bad at this! It's kind of ridiculous. I haven't even gotten to the first freaking turn yet. Like, where... Where the hell is it? I feel like I really should have reached it by now. Like, it's gotta be... Oh, there it is. Okay, I want to go right on this turn. And... There is an end. Uh, oh, okay. Uh... As I believe the next turn is coming up a lot sooner than that one did. It's a ram! Oh, oh yeah, right here. And I want to go left on this one. And by our powers combined, that should bring me to where I want to go. There are... well, again, you'll see. This isn't actually... actually, honestly, this isn't even that important. But it's a lot more convenient if I do things this way. Well, I mean, what would be really convenient is if I stopped running into freaking everything, but that would require me not being bad. Oh, we have reached the end. Off we go. Ugh. Still in one piece. But of course. Where indeed. Oh yeah, we did. Okay, so... He says that, but actually we only freeze if we actually do walking. Uh... There we go. Okay, so if you look at this map, you see that little tree in the middle? That's where we are right now. Um, I wanted to go to this one because it's the closest place to where I want to go. The other jumps will all t land you along the bottom edge of this map. Either at that gate, or at the sort of tree-ish thing on the left, or I think at that cave, but I'm not 100% about that one. But the tree! That's where we are, that's where I wanted to be. And you'll find out next time, because we're out of time. So, join me next time when we, you know, explore the, the Great Glacier. Yeah, that's where we are. So until then, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!